Welcome to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tiarina. And I'm Kathy Tiarina. And for those of you that don't know who we are, Ron and I are the co-founders of The Ridge Project and the co-creators of Tyro. Tyro is a Latin word which means apprentice, novice, someone learning something new, a warrior. And out of our experience of doing time, I did time inside and Kathy did time on the outside, we were able to create this curriculum that has not only empowered our family to become successful, mm -hmm. but empower hundreds of thousands of other families to really have life after penitentiary, after divorce, after losing a job, after whatever after is, <laughs> right? Tyro helps empower them to get to a level of success that people can only dream about. So the principles and precepts that we learn through our own experience are the things that we now get to share with you. And we hope, actually, we know mm -hmm. that if you practice the things that we tell you to practice, the things that we practice in our lives, that you will have the same result in your life, that you will become so successful in your relationships and so successful in achieving your dreams that you will create a new legacy for your family. So really, you're without excuse. That's right. Because once you understand these ingredients for this recipe on success, what excuse do you have? As long as you apply these principles and these skills that we empower impart into you, you will be successful and we guarantee that. But it's gonna take hard work, right? And hard work equals profit. So today we are gonna talk about a question we get a lot. And we work with a lot of couples, a lot of couples that are maybe considering marriage or a lot of couples that have never considered marriage. And one of the main questions we get is, well, you know what? Well, can you actually be married and still be friends? Mm, and so that's what we're gonna talk about today. <laughs> can Kathy and I be friends and still be married? Oh, you know, it's, it's I one don't know. thing it's one thing to be husband and wife, mm -hmm. but it's another thing to be friends. Right. Right. And so today on today's show, we're gonna talk about can you actually be married and can you still really truly, honestly, truly, bluely be friends? Oh man. <laughs> so stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this episode, and we'll be right back. Tyro Dads will help you to see who you really are on the inside by coming to terms with your past, present, and future. You will begin to move forward by using your time on the inside to transform yourself. We know you're not the only one serving time. Your family is too. Overcoming the issues that existed prior to and during incarceration are often more than what many families can survive. Tyro Dads has a unique method of reaching and healing families based on Ron and Catherine Tiarina's own personal experiences. Tyro Dads Dads works exclusively with incarcerated fathers who have minor children. The program lasts for 10 weeks and focuses on intensive character development. You will be taught to take responsibility for your actions, to own it. You will be prepared to overcome the obstacles of incarceration and transition back into your home and community, both successfully and permanently. Upon successful completion of this program, you will earn the title of Tyro, which means a warrior, someone learning something new. You will be one of the honored, a man worth following. If you think you have what it takes to be a Tyro or you want to know more, contact your local project facilitator or your institution staff. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tiarina. And I'm Kathy Tiarina. And today we're talking about something that's dear to me. You know, can you be married and still be friends? And in this case, <laughs> best friends. Right. And can you? I mean, that's a real question that we get all the time. And so, like, what is it we're really talking about? We're talking about the fear that people have that their relationship is going to be ruined or changed permanently for the worse mm. if they get married. And you know what? This is why a lot of people, right, live together. Or just don't get married. Or just don't get married because they believe that that marriage, that word, that that thing that when you put the ring on, ring. you know what, friendship, fun is gone. <laughs> <laughs> right? And unfortunately, because you believe that, that's what happens. Mm. And so we see so many people that believe that, you know what, marriage is an obligation. And so therefore, I'm obligated to go and do life with you, but I don't have to enjoy it. Mm. And unfortunately, that you know that is such a... Such a lie, right? You know what? Not only is it a lie, but it's a deterrent. Yeah, yeah that's right. It's a deterrent. <laughs> It'll stop that, you from that's... anything, right? <laughs> it would totally deter me from being married if I could not be friends. And so when we think about marriage, 
we often have this idea that, well, now we get married, so now we're staunch. Now, like the old man, like uh, he keeps me from doing what I want to do. The old man oh, controls all the ball and chain. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> and the, Or I keep him from doing what he wants to do, right? You know what? I get an allowance. You know, people laugh at me all the time. You know, and they, I, when I tell them, I say, look, not only am I domesticated, but I'm housebroken, right? No, and, he's not. And I'm, and, but, but I'm okay with he's it. He's not domesticated. <laughs> do not let, do not even Listen, believe that. Well, we're talking about, you know, what is it to be married and be friends? Right. What is it to be married and be happy, mm -hmm. right? Because when without the friendship, you know, without the friendship in marriage, there is no marriage. Mm -hmm. And that's really cutting to the chase, right? Right. Getting to the punchline of what we're talking about. Without friendship, there is no marriage. Mm -hmm. And if and if people don't understand that, you know, I, I know people who've gotten a divorce, been married 25, 30, 40 yeah. years, and yeah. then finally they get a divorce. So the truth is, Prior to that act of the divorce, when did you really get divorced? Where right. in your marriage did you stop being friends? Mm -hmm. You know, so. So when we think about marriage and we think about marriage being blah, right? I mean, the fact that, that our society um, puts this kind of uh, negative connotation on marriage is obvious. And the number of times that people say to us, that, tell me the truth. Can I really be married and mm. still be friends? Because can, can, we get along really well right now. Can we really be that happy? Is your right. happiness for real, or you just is it because you got the camera on you, right. or you guys are on stage speaking that this is you guys with the mask on? Right. And so, and the truth is, you can be friends mm. and married. As a matter of fact, it is a vital ingredient to actually having a successful, happy marriage. If you want to have a good, healthy marriage, you need to be friends, and you need to put your friendship before anything else. Mm. And even before before your kids, before anything else, it's like, okay, weigh out everything. Okay, is this is this promoting my friendship with the person that I've decided to spend the rest of my life with? And if it's not, then I probably shouldn't do it. You know, when you're courting your girlfriend, when you're courting her and she becomes your fiance and, and you putting all this energy to it, in, in reality, what happens to us guys, this has become our number one focus, our number one priority, right? But then when we get married, you know, what is marriage? It's us signifying and telling the world that I belong to this woman and this woman belongs to me. And we're telling the world that this is us and it's no longer just me, but it's us. And, and, and the fear factor of why people don't go to that far because they're willing to date right, and put a lot of energy, a lot of mm -hmm. investment in dating, uh, maybe even living together, but they just never want to put that whole 100% commitment into it, and that's marriage. For whatever reason, whatever stops a guy from making that that plunge, right, taking that that deep plunge, right, that deep plunge. <laughs> <laughs> and it just keeps getting deeper. Hey, right, right. It's, a, it's, it's our own insecurity that stops us from really fulfilling the great commission called marriage, man. Because if you're living with a woman, gentlemen, and, and you're not married to her, that's a grown man playing house. Right. And so when we right? think about a commission, we're talking about a co-mission. Mm. It means we're both on the same mission together as friends, as lovers, as husband, as wife, right? And saying, okay, together, we are gonna make the rest of our life and doing life together our mission together, our commission. And so, you know, what are we talking about? Really, the lie that says that you cannot be friends and be married at the same time. And so that, that is a huge, as you said, a deterrent to marriage. So we're gonna take a break, and when we come back, we're gonna talk about why it's so important to dispel this lie and really build friendship before you take the plunge. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Playing catch, basketball, laughing and enjoying each other's company. These are all normal things on the outside but many times are missed in a visitation setting. Tyro Dads brings the same fun experience to the inside through family days. As a Tyro Dad, you have the opportunity to participate in this fantastic event. Family Day is designed to allow fathers and families to engage with each other through activities designed to stimulate communication, learning, and play. Family Days will not only be a highlight for you, but for your children as well. The Ridge Project has strategically developed Family Day as an opportunity to help you connect with your child throughout your separation and help both of you develop skills to continue building your relationship when you return home. 
Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tiarina. And I'm Kathy Tiarina. And today we're talking about can you be married and still be friends? This is the question of the century. <laughs> and so today we're actually going to talk about, we talked a little bit about what what is friendship? What is it that's the big lie that you can't be friends, but you, if you want to get married, you can't be friends. If you want to be friends, you can't get married. Mm, mm, totally mm, not mm. true. And how this is a huge deterrent to couples actually making the plunge, which is a great plunge together. It's exciting, right? Think about going uh, the highest diving board and then together like, like plunging into waters. It's much safer and much more fun when you have somebody with you, right? You wouldn't do it all by yourself. You'd want to have a friend, a best friend, do it with you. Well, That's especially if you're like. on the diving board by yourself and your significant other, in this case, your <laughs> wife, is rooting for you down from the bottom. You can do it. You know, this is what marriage is about. Mm -hmm. Having your, each other's back and having a cheerleader in your corner at when? All times. You know, why is it important? How is friendship crucial to a marriage because if you're married and you're not friends mm -mm -mm. Mm. you are miserable oh my gosh I'll tell you right now you are miserable if you are not friends and i know this from personal <clears throat> experience because there was a season in our marriage that we were not friends and it was absolutely miserable like every day i was like oh my goodness and such disdain that i felt towards ron it was not fun at all because i wasn't a fun person <laughs> <laughs> not with me anyway oh uh, you know what and, and that's what it is marriage is supposed to be fun and laughter, mm -hmm. even in the hardest times of your relationship. Because when you're friends, listen, marriage is marriage, but friendship is first. Mm -hmm. Because in order for this to work, man, you got to be friends. Why is it important? Because if you want to become successful and you're in a relationship with your lady, right, mm -hmm. and you're taking this to a new level, and Kathy said earlier, you're in a you're a, co a corporation, right? You got a co-mission. This mission of this marriage is not only to be successful, but you got to have fun getting there. And it belongs to both of you. So as friends, when we think about being friends in marriage, it means really fun. It means laughter, but it means putting that that friendship first mm. and saying, you know what? In spite of the fact, so the commitment part um, is 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 vitally important, but everybody focuses on, on this commitment, which means a commitment sounds so serious, right? Like, okay, we're making a commitment, we're gonna be committed to each other, now we've gotta be serious about this. You know, it's like owning horses, you know? You don't wanna just always clean the stalls out and never ride, right? Right. Because that's a boring relationship that you have with the animals you own. Right. If you're just right? investing time and energy into the work part and not the fun part, that's nobody right. wants that. And that's a serious, contentious, <laughs> relationship. There's no fun and laughter in cleaning right. out stalls. Right. Right. That's hard work. It's dirty, it's, it's stinky, yeah. it's smelly, but it's obligation that if you mm. own a horse, you have to clean out the stalls. And But if you never make the time to actually enjoy the horse, to actually spend time with it, well then you may as well get rid of it. Okay, the same thing with marriage. So if you go into it and you're thinking of it just as cleaning out the stalls, you're going to be miserable. And so you have to switch the way you're thinking and think about the fun that you're going to have, the enjoyment of spending your life with somebody and creating moments mm. and memories together. That's what marriage is about. Two people on a journey across a lifetime. And that means they're in the bad times, but also they're in the fun times and creating fun times. And you and you got to be able to, that's the key word, create. That means, you know, why is this important? It's two people dreaming together together. Mm -hmm. Why is it important? You're creating a legacy. You're building something together. You can't get into a marriage and then, and all you're, all you're serious, you know, it, it's a serious relationship, but there's got to be fun and laughter in it where you got to be able to look at your life and laugh at your life. Right? <laughs> right. <laughs> La laugh at yourself and laugh right. together. As you're, as you're thinking about marriage, think about it more like going on the greatest adventure that you can possibly imagine with your absolute best friend. And part of that best friend is, is somebody that you get to have sex with too. I mean, like, what could be better than that? Hmm. <laughs> what could be better than that? It was a little blooper right here, a little ball, right? But still, this is a great time to really learn how to be friends with your wife. If you're incarcerated and you weren't friends before you went to prison, this is your opportunity to become friends. So we gotta take a quick break, and we come back, we're gonna give you some tips on how to be a friend no matter where you're at. Even in marriage. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Dear son, it's been hard these last few years watching you grow up without me in the picture. Never taking the time to find out how you were or what was going on in your life. You're just a boy, I thought. You don't need me. I didn't need my dad. He was never around, I told myself. But I was wrong, son. I'm supposed to be a grown man. 
I was selfish. I was stupid. I was thinking of me, not you. If I could go back, son, and change things, I would. It's taken me all this time being selfish to finally grow up and realize I need to be a responsible man. That's what I finally learned, not from prison, but the Tyro program. It's all about becoming a better, stronger man. Wish I would have gotten it sooner. Everything looks different to me now. I'm a changed person. I know I need to be there for you now. It's not about me anymore. It's not about being cool. It's not about who I run with. It's about mom. It's about you. It's about being a better man, learning something new in my life. It's about being a Tyro, a man worth following. I'm your dad. You're my son, and I love you. I am a Tyro. I'm a Tyro. Dad. If you think you have what it takes to be a Tyro or just want to know more, contact your local Ridge Project facilitator or your caseworker. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tiarina. And I'm Kathy Tiarina. And today we're talking about... Can we really be friends and still be married? That's right. And that's, you know what, people think that you can't be friends if you're married. Well, All you know right. what, we're, we're debunking that urban legend we're today. We're going to dispel that myth. Right now, because this is my best friend, and I love her, and I love being married to Kathy, and truly she is my best friend. But the truth is that you can be married to somebody and not be friends with them, but that's because you decide. You're not putting the effort mm. into it. You're not doing what you need to do in order to foster that friendship. So if you want to be friends and you want to go through your journey across a lifetime, it's a huge adventure together as friends, we're going to tell you how to make that happen. All right. The first thing is, number one priority in a marriage? Friendship. Friendship, I mean, Friendship it's, it's obvious, first. right? Friendship first. That means you got to cultivate a relationship of being a friend, being somebody who you can, who, who you want to be a friend with, right? If, if I'm, if, that's that right? So if, yeah. am I friendable? Right. <laughs> That's right. Am I yeah. friendable? Am I friendable? Because otherwise you'll be unfriended and nobody <laughs> wants to be unfriended. Don't unfriend me. You know what? But we're, what we're really talking about is making sure that that friendship in your relationship is top priority. What we see a lot of couples do is they start out, they're all together. So this, these two fingers coming together means they're best friends, right? And then as life happens, as children come along, we'll say the children are down here, they're underneath that friendship or maybe, they're, maybe they're, their vision, dreams, goals are their career, and then what happens is they start putting those other things first. Now look what happens to your friendship. So that if the kids come first, they're between you instead of covered by you. Mm. If, your, if your career comes first, then it's between you and not covered by you. And so the friendship first is a really key, important principle. No matter what, your friendship has to come first first mm. and then everything else is protected because it's all covered underneath the friendship. Does that make sense? See that? I like it. I like it. Number two, never stop dating. Mm. And with dating comes never stop flirting, mm -hmm. right? You got to have fun. You got to be spunk. You have some spunk in your relationship, yeah. you know? <laughs> and if you're not dating, you're not having, bringing spunk. This is definitely one right? Ron does not struggle with. <laughs> right? You got to be able to flirt with your lady when always, no matter where you're at. This is your lady. This is your best friend. If you're not flirting with her, if you're not giving her that type of attention, right? But listen, Facebook is your competition. Mm -hmm. Instagram is your competition. Twitter, these things out here, the social media world out there, you want the social world Stress that I want her to have. Your competition. I'm her social media. <laughs> lady, <right? laughs> pick me, pick me, pick me. <laughs> like me. Give me some likes. Right? <laughs> so, right? so keeping your friendship first is really, really important. In order to do that is to never stop dating. Finding new things to do together all the time. And you can even do that from inside. That means that when she comes to visit you, you're creating a dating experience. Mm. Because you know what? Um, there was a really great tip that somebody gave me, and that was make it fun to be with you. If you want Ron to invite you, if you really want to, to have him want you to be there, then be fun to be with. The same thing, if you want her to come visit you, create an atmosphere that she wants to be there because it's hard to come into a prison. It's hard to come into a prison visiting room. You have to create that atmosphere just at your table that creates a positive experience for her. So it doesn't matter, in prison or out, never stop dating. Number three, 
dream again, mm. right? Or just dream, right? Because a lot of the times before you were, you find yourself in the place you're at now, the, the relationships, domestic violence and everything's happened, there's no dreaming. There's no opportunities being created by you and her, but a lot of dysfunction, mm -hmm. a lot of chaos. But here now when you understand that friendship will breed the ability to dream together mm -hmm. for a better tomorrow for the both of you and your children. So when we think about dreaming together, we mean dreaming goals together and your great adventure together, but also empowering each other to dream an individual dream. Mm. Because just because we're married doesn't mean I lose my individuality, nor Ron loses his. I am still holy Kathy, he is still holy Ron, and then we have the us. So when we're dreaming together, we're dreaming big dreams of things that we can accomplish in our adventure together, but also I am supporting Ron in his own dreams for his own individuality of Ron. And I am supporting Kathy in her own individuality. I'm, in other words, I am her biggest cheerleader. I am her biggest, I'm her number one fan. And when she's got a vision or dream that she'd like to achieve, my job as a supporting actor in her play, and, or vice versa, right? I wanna lift her up. I want her to be the star of her play. Because friends root for each other. Mm. Friends want each other to become successful. Now, if you're enemies, you'll do everything you can to keep that person from being successful. And a lot of times we see marriages that they look more like enemies because they're not helping the other person become successful. They're, they're actually sabotaging it. So when we think dream together, we're mm -hmm. talking about dreaming individually and dreaming corporately on your co-mission, right? You're on a mission together across life. So we come back, we're gonna wrap all this up and, and uh, conclude it, right? Right, so stay tuned <laughs> and we will see you. We'll be right back. Tyro Dads will help you to see who you really are on the inside by coming to terms with your past, present, and future. You will begin to move forward by using your time on the inside to transform yourself. We know you're not the only one serving time. Your family is too. Overcoming the issues that existed prior to and during incarceration are often more than what many families can survive. Tyro Dads has a unique method of reaching and healing families based on Ron and Catherine Tiarina's own personal experiences. Tyro Dads works exclusively with incarcerated fathers who have minor children. The program lasts for 10 weeks and focuses on intensive character development. You'll be taught to take responsibility for your actions to own it. You'll be prepared to overcome the obstacles of incarceration and transition back into your home and community, both successfully and permanently. Upon successful completion of this program, you will earn the title of Tyro, which means a warrior, someone learning something new. You will be one of the honored, a man worth following. If you think you have what it takes to be a Tyro or you want to know more, contact your local project facilitator or your institution staff. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tiarina. And I'm his friend, Kathy Tiarina. Oh, nice. Uh, we really hope you're enjoying today's show because we are having a great time sharing with you what it means to be a friend in marriage. Is it possible yes. to be friends and in marriage? And the answer to that question is absolutely yes. Not only absolutely. is it possible, it is imperative. You know, you gotta be friends first. We told you that earlier. Friends is number one priority in any type of marriage relationship. If you are not friends, it ain't gonna work. Right. And friendship requires time. And so as we close out this segment, we really want to encourage you to invest time in building the friendship because you can't, you know, there might be friends that are on, on, um, on the outskirts. It's like, oh, you see them once every three or four years. And, hey, and you connect like it was just yesterday. But it's not the same in a marriage. You can't just make a connection once a year and That's think right. you're going to build that friendship. It takes an investment. It takes you energy. You know, one of the things I did, in our, I want to share this, in our relationship, when I first went to prison, I literally started over with in Kathy. I, I remember writing my first letter to her, let me introduce myself to you because I had to do something different. I had to start something different. Yeah, we were married five years before I was incarcerated, but we weren't friends and we didn't know each other. And this revelation, this realization that who am I, who are you, was starting to really turn on. The lights were turning on. And so I didn't just automatically get that letter say, wow, he's my friend. I was like, okay, what's he up to? Right? Uh, yeah, you know, but, but, <laughs> but I was consistent right. in introducing you know what? This is who I am. My favorite color. My name is Ron Tiarina. Let me introduce myself to so you. So he continued to invest time and energy, and I continued to invest time and energy. 
And so we really want to encourage you that no matter what the state of affairs is in your relationship, it's never too late. And so, and, and also, if you are putting off getting married because you're afraid you're going to lose your friend, we want to tell you that is not true. Mm. As a matter of fact, if you take those same principles of, of the things that you're doing right now that are making your relationship fun, and you put them in the middle of a marriage, you are going to have the most incredible marriage anyone around you has ever had. You're going to create the, uh, the most significant, life-changing direction in your own personal mm -hmm. and in the personal life of the people that are counting on you. You know, if you've been with a lady for a long time and you never just took that plunge, right? You never said, will you marry me? We, I want to challenge you. This is your opportunity to do it while you're incarcerated. Th th your life doesn't end. Mm -hmm. You're still in a relationship with this lady. Show her that you have become the man that she's been dreaming about. She's been waiting for that knight in shining armor. And if you're that guy, if you're ready to do that, do it. Mm -hmm. Don't wait till you get out because guess what? You won't do it when you get out. So we hope that you have learned something on the show today, something that's going to help you in, in the pursuit of your dreams and your goals, so something that's going to help you build healthy relationships with your significant other, your partner, and your kids as you build a new legacy on a solid foundation of healthy family. So we hope you enjoyed our show today. We really enjoyed spending time with you, and thank you for allowing us to be part of your journey. Until next time, always remember that we, we are rooting, rooting for you. you.